Oh, please. Oh, good. I'm not frozen. Okay. So I don't know really what happened because everything was working great until I got to my live setting and then everything was frozen and all I had to do was reset the webcam. So I don't really know what the deal was there. I just kind of deleted the source and then added it again and everything was fine. So woohoo, easy, easy technical difficulty. How is everyone tonight? Thank you guys so much for joining. I am currently getting some tea ready. Not spilling the tea type of tea, but like actual tea. <clears throat> there we go. All right. <clears throat> Let's see who we've got here. Oh, we've got lots of friends already. Hello, Jessica, Maggie, Elizabeth, Jetpack, Casey, Lauren, Elizabeth, Coco. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you guys. All right. So let's go ahead and get things started and see how everything is looking. So I didn't really set up again. Hmm. What kind of tea? Oh, I've got peppermint tea. Hi, Daniela. Hello, Josh. Nice to see you guys. All right. I, n I never do this ahead of time. Let me just like make this screen a little bigger. I I apologize because I have to do it this way because my computer absolutely, absolutely, absolutely will not do it any other way for these older games. I've tried. I've had tech support from Hugh Miller himself. It doesn't work. Peach herbal tea sounds so good. Oh my gosh, Coco. I hope that you don't get sick. That sounds awful. I've been having uh, really bad allergies for the past week. Hmm. So I really... Oh, thanks, Daniela. Not sure what Hugh does. He has a little tricky trick and I've tried it and it doesn't seem to want to work on my computer, so whatever. That's your favorite kind of tea, Josh? Yes, it's a good one. All right, you guys, so who remembers what we did <laughs> last week? Okay, we did not do this. You know the best way to figure out what you've done is to call Bess and George or Frank and Joe. Thanks, Joanna. Thank you. This is the same shirt I wore last week, but it's perfect for this. Coco, I'm so sorry. I've also been continually injuring my voice because uh, of these allergies. It's been really, really bad. But I've got a honey stick and I've got tea. Hmm. Pretty good. All right, let's call the Hardy Boys. Oops. Hey Joe, it's Nancy. Nancy? How's it going? Uh, no, wait, don't answer that. Talk about the weather or something. The weather? Yeah, that'll give me time to grab the other phone and take it outside. Frank's washing the car. He'll kill me if he misses anything. Uh, here, wait a sec. Take a break, it's Nancy. Hang on, he's putting the hose down. He's drying his hands. He's walking over. Nancy, hi. What's up? Bess and George say you've got another mystery on your hands. Or should we say, on your paws. They told you about the dogs? We made them tell us everything. Pumped them dry. As you may have guessed, we're not exactly rolling in detective work here. So you're living vicariously through me. 
It's not the first time, sad to say. Yay, what Daniela! What conclusions have you reached so far, detective? I'm convinced that someone is using those ghost dogs to scare so Sally cool. into a family You got Rob Jones to do an interview, Susie? Thank you, Jessica. I'm really excited to talk to, to Rob Jones. Who. Never hurts to look for motive. Him and Scott Cardi are, like, my biggest, like, catches, <laughs> I guess. Not that they're, like, a fish, but... I'm so stoked to get to talk to them. If nothing else, those ghost dogs are very well trained. I'm watching to see who owns and or trains dogs around here. Good plan, but don't forget, a really smart perpetrator. What is, is everyone's like favorite no tea? Tell me. Man, a really, really smart Tell me what you guys like. All over the place and not bother to hide it because he or she would figure you'd never suspect anyone so obvious. Emily Griffin doesn't seem to have any dogs. Uh-oh. Move her up on your suspect list. I'd move her down. You know, Joe, something tells me we're not helping. <laughs> Malone and his four dogs are supposedly buried in a little cemetery near the house. They've all got headstones inscribed with when they were born and when they died. That's interesting. Did Malone have family? Not that I'm aware of. Then who I know, I might have to ride? be really careful. What, um, <laughs> what questions everybody asks these people, such as Scott Cardi and Rob Jones, just because, like, how do I describe this? <clears throat> um, I don't know what their NDA situation is, but I'm sure they have them. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It's not until next year for both of them, so we'll see how it goes. Maggie's a fan of mint green tea. Jessica likes chamomile, peppermint, sleepy time, coffee, peppermint, mint medley. We've got a lot of mint fans here. Coffee. <clears throat> Sweet tea. Hi, Brigella. Nice to see you. How are you tonight? I don't know, but it had to be someone who had access to Malone's house and property after Chamomile. he died. Sounds like Irish this latest tea. of yours is still missing a few pieces. Black tea. Arizona iced tea with lemon. Cinnamon herbal tea. So, for those of you who are answering coffee, what kind of coffee do you like? Is there something specific? I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? We can probably come up with a few, but we're not going to make it easy for you. After all, it's your case, not ours. Be sure to notice what shows up behind each dog in the clock after you turn one of the dogs in the cabinet. Psychologists call it feedback. The trick is to turn each dog in the right direction. <laughs> But until you figure out what the right direction for each dog is, I guess you will have pretty much hit the wall. I got my beautiful notebook. Woo! Okay, so I need to do the dog clock wall thing. Later, guys. <clears throat> you bet. Bye, Nancy. Vanilla with sugar and milk. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Love it. So my favorite is... Um, I really like vanilla caramel with honey. I'm a big honey fan. And I like English breakfast and Earl Grey. Have you guys ever had Earl Grey boba tea? Now that is something special. Where are my boba tea fans at? All right. Something happened. I am not paying attention, you guys. I'm sorry, I have you all the way over here today, so. <clears throat> Sticky bun flavored coffee? 
That sounds amazing, Elizabeth. Coffee with oat milk. Ooh. Pump of pumpkin spice or vanilla. That sounds yummy. Blonde vanilla lattes and caramel macchiatos. Peppermint mocha frappuccinos. Oh, you can't drink brewed coffee anymore. Oh, that's so sad. Taro boba tea. Mm. Okay, so for those of you who haven't had boba, you should definitely try it. I do feel like it's an acquired taste. Just, um, just because for some people, there's like, um, so some people don't like slurping up pieces of tapioca. <laughs> I can understand that. I personally love it, but you know, that's it's stuck. Uh, oh shoot, that's I need right. Some sandpaper. That's okay. You've heard good things about boba. You know, I'm not the biggest PSL person. Lauren, if you like Earl Grey and boba tea, you should try Earl Grey boba. Gooba doesn't like it because of the texture. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's definitely a, an acquired taste. But... I have the acquired taste. <laughs> How's the bird watching coming along? I just can't seem to find a red-tailed hawk. Any suggestions? Well, there's gotta be lots around here. You haven't been going around wearing sunglasses and earmuffs, have you? No, Red, I haven't. Well, according to my bird map, they like to nest in the big tree that's just to the southwest of the Malone house. I suggest you park yourself nearby and wait. Bound to spot one sooner or later. See you in a while. No hurry. So my current favorite thing is the Duncan pumpkin chai latte. I have been having it non-stop. It's so good. So, so good. Okay. Let's go see Emily. <clears throat> and finally, like, get this game into gear. Because I have not been paying attention. And hopefully I won't just kill my voice. As you guys can probably hear, it's still not back. What do we think of the new coffee mini game? I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be fun. <clears throat> Starbucks apple crisps, shaken oat milk espresso sounds so good. How you holding up? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired mm. of that observation platform. Peppermint mocha. He's giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Think I could get some from him? He's your only one. London note. Fog, yeah. But you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Mm. Yes. You guys are making me so thirsty. All right, that butt of his is pretty big, and those Guess squares are pretty later. small. Keep on trucking. Now let's go make it nighttime again. I'm bringing you guys closer. Allergies. <clears throat> Great alternative fall drink. Honestly, apple is so good. Apple as a flavor doesn't get nearly as much love as it should. 
How's the bird watching coming along? I'm sorry to keep bugging you, but I need some sand. Apple's the superior fall Emily flavor. Yeah, a lot of people some? do think Here, that. Take it and scram. I was just about to call in a meadowlark. That was always Ruth's favorite. Was Ruth your wife? Good heavens, no. My wife had no patience for birding. Ruth was my dog. Border collie. Yeah, Coco, I don't know. She'd hear a metal arc. It's been really bad golly. here. Her ears would perk. She'd cock her head. And she'd just come as close to smiling as ever a dog could. Apple butter me up. That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> My husband just started singing apple butter jeans. Was she the only <laughs> dog you ever had? Yep. <laughs> Wouldn't Not to come to the anymore. Especially now that I'm retired and oh. spend so much time at Moonlight. He's doing laundry. The place is surrounded by park land and Ranger Acres just loves enforcing the leash laws. Hi, little Miss Drew. You have there a ragweed allergy? Oh. Take your sandpaper and go sand something, okay? Apple's so much better than pumpkin. I love that this chat is basically just the apple lovers. Like, everywhere I go, everyone's all about pumpkin. Except for right now. It's stuck. Woo! Yes! <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Sorry. I like pumpkin pie, but I think apple is a more versatile flavor. Mmm. Okay, let's talk about pie for a moment. Let's talk a let's talk about pie for a moment. I have a question for you guys. Do you like pie? <clears throat> I know that sounds weird, but do you like pie? And if you were given the choice of pie or cake, which would you choose? Let me tell you why. Oh my gosh, I love this picture. So cool. Um, so I'm asking this because I will eat pie if there's no other dessert. But honestly, I'm not the biggest pie fan. So like, Thanksgiving is not my dessert holiday. <laughs> I, I will definitely eat it. I will definitely eat it. But I'm just not a pie person. I am a cake person though, but more like... Overall, I'm a chocolate person. If anything is made of chocolate, I want that. I want the things made of chocolate. William Acres. I wonder Whoa. if he's related to Jeff Acres. It's a texture thing for me. I do, oh wait, I'm missing things. <clears throat> do you have a pollen allergy now? Probably. I feel like everybody has a pollen allergy. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Coco, you don't like pie. Okay, so you're with me. You do like cheesecake. You love pie. You have a birthday pie every year. You would love, there's there's this place in my city called the Ugly Pie, and they do just pies. And people will often use that as a wedding cake alternative, and I think that's really cool, even though I'm not a big pie fan, but like. Asking you tough questions, are we? Well, never had apple pie, so I'd pick cake over pie. Interesting. How have you grown to be so old and have never had any pie besides apple? <laughs> cake or cobbler? Cake. Cake. Mmm. I'm loving this, you guys. I love pumpkin as like a vegetable, but not as much as a coffee syrup. What's the discussion here? Cake or pie? Pie. <laughs> pie more in cooler months? Interesting. I could do pie with like ice cream on top. Cake over pie. Pumpkin crunch cake? That, that sounds good. Well, hang on. Think about it. I'm talking about cake here, because isn't cheesecake more like a pie? No. Cheesecake is definitely a cake. If, they, if it was not a cake, they would call it cheese pie. But it's in a crust. Like a pie. But it's a graham cracker crust. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what are people saying? Your phone's about to die? Oh, rip. Go Bye, Maggie. Plug it in. <laughs> Bunt cakes. Ooh. <clears throat> Is that it on the East Coast? No, I've never seen nothing but cakes. But that oh, sounds have, great. We have Smith Island cakes here, too. Smith Island cakes are our thing. Honestly, not that great. It's harder for you to decide between cake and pie. I really like that there's a game, there's like a murder on the loose or something, and we're discussing cake and pie. Black Forest cake? What's Black Forest cake? It's big time chocolate. Ew. Cheese pie sounds crazy. <laughs> Why would a cheesecake be a pie if there's cake in the name? I know, but, Jessica. But if you're thinking about what, what makes pie pie and what makes cake cake, cake traditionally like a dough. Cheesecake is not. It's cheese. There are savory pies, you're right, Casey. It's, it's like how you have, like, pumpkin pie or anything. Really, we think about it. What's the difference between pumpkin pie and cheesecake? It's just the filling. There's still a crust. It's a pie. Ugh. Cheese pie. We have a nothing but cakes in Michigan. Oh, man. Now I'm really wanting that. Is it just bun cakes? Tell me. What makes a bun cake a bun cake? It's the, um, it's the one that has the hole in the middle and it's, like, a specific pan. So a pound cake. <clears throat> that sounds great. But wait, I love what Coco said. This is the is a hot dog a sandwich dessert version. Yeah. So great. <clears throat> you have a game to play. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Well, you make her. Hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there. So then you go, John, shut up. <laughs> Hmm, it could be mice making that sound. It looks like a tiny hole. So what What's makes a bun what makes it a nothing bunt cake? What's I that think mean? that's the the place you buy it. Oh, that's dumb. Okay. I thought there was like a cool ingredient that we use. Oh, Brigella's with you. Cheesecake is a sort of pie since there is a crust. Honestly, you know what a nothing bunt cake sounds like? Something a really poor family would do because they can't afford desserts. That's so sad. Pound cake is a type of bun cake, yes. Oh. Please, yes, please send send the I'm sorry, what? Moist. It's the only situation where I'll use the word moist. <laughs> Abby. Yeah, cheesecake's a pot. And this is as an avid cheesecake enthusiast. Cheese pie um, does sound disgusting. Sue Sue hate is hating this, but cheesecake is a pie. I like cheesecake, but I'm not a huge pie fan. I forget what the thing is. Hold on, do I have it written down? <clears throat> do you want to handle chat for me? I'd like to point out that I think this is the biggest amount of people that I've seen viewing and it's because we're discussing baking. <laughs> Baked goods. Shut up. They like me. I'm kidding, it's probably the pie. So yeah, everyone else is saying cheesecake is pie. Black forest cake is such a hard cake to make. Oh, I bet yeah. Those are deer mice. So, funny cheesecake story. My sister is very weird and she doesn't like certain things. So I'd always get cheesecake. She didn't like it. That's sad. You better be careful. Decided to look up the bun cakes on their website and darn they're expensive. Really? How expensive, Daniela? How much are we talking for a cake? Careful. Yeah. Cheesecake is my birthday thing every year. And one year we did cheesecake and cheese steaks. Remember that? No, I don't. We did that during the pandemic. I thought I had... It's the Philly in me. You better be careful. Do I not have gloves? Did I not pick them up? Cheesecake is gross. Daniela, um, you can leave now. <laughs> Oops. Aren't they over here somewhere? There they are. All right, back we go. Pretty sure, and it's an Italian thing. Yeah, there's definitely like a cheese pie. My mom's made a cheese. Used to make like a cheesy. It was like a. It's like a quiche. A quiche is cheese. Ooh, I love quiche. Nancy Moore makes the best quiche in the world. These people don't know Nancy. That's Moore. my mom. She's the best. I do like her quiche. Peanut butter pie is fantastic too. Ooh, that sounds be yummy. Careful. Is there a chocolate pie? You better yeah, be careful. It's, yeah. I want to eat chocolate but You, you got to go to like the Amish markets for that <laughs> stuff. Speakeasy. Yes, let's look for this 
speakeasy, you guys. A m- dozen Emily mini bunt cakes for 29 Baker's bucks? That doesn't sound bad at all. Joe. I'm sorry, what? Lady that Joe sounds great. That's not a bad deal at all. After all. Every time I hear bunt cake, I just think of that episode of Sabrina. You know what I'm talking about? Vaguely. Um, I think it was episode two of Sabrina season one. It's like Sabrina Teenage Witch from the 90s. Hated so cake like, is about 28 bucks a pack. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's a, that's, a, that's a cake, yeah. No, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. I mean, think about it this way. A, a dinner for two people at the minimum is usually that these days. Yeah, that's not bad for a cake. I would pay... I would pay much for a chocolate. So... Um, anyway, so there was this episode of Sabrina Teenage Witch in the 90s, um, and it was called Bunt Friday, this and is really good. it was basically but, just like, yeah, it was basically just like, she's taking home ec, and they have to make bunt cakes. That's right. But there's this line. I'm sure that was episode two. I feel like I'm it was pretty sure. Late. No, it was definitely episode two. It may have been episode three. Honestly, this is the audience that would now, they seem like they've also seen Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, heck yeah, that's good. It's polar too. They make the seltzer. <laughs> it's nice. Um, anyway, so there's this line where the teacher's, like, she takes out the bunt cake from the oven and she's like, mmm, smell your buns, smell your neighbor's buns. And, like, when, of course, I was watching this as a child, I thought that was so funny. It's still really funny. It's pretty funny. Pizza pie? Um, yeah, I, I guess pizza is technically a pie. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I was actually, um, I was talking to Mark the other night about Coliseum pizza and how great it is. Interesting. Well, because he lives there. And we, I was saying, like, me and Sue used to go there all the time. Um, cause he was like, yeah, there's nothing to eat in my town. I'm like, do you have that really good local pizza place right there? Go on. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Yes, Abby, we're going for bunt cake. So when it's Gooba and a jetpack, are they both watching or is it just the account they use? They have a joint account, but it's usually just jetpack. Makes me think of that Facebook tag. Um, like... Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just jetpack tonight with us, right? <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? No idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Mm. And then, too, you get into the weird regional stuff, too, with baking and everything. Um, oh, she she's in North Carolina. Well, 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 little Miss Drew. We whale, are whale, not whale. far from each other. Oh, and uh, Joanna. And Joanna. I've never been to North Carolina. Neither have I, but I we are all in the mood to meet all of our online besties. So let's go see Jeff Akers. Thank you for reminding everyone to like the live, Jessica. You're so sweet. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Mm. I watch some YouTube. I have some good content coming for you guys this month. Nothing will beat you watching you suck honey out of a straw. <laughs> You're right. This is like <clears throat> peak content right here. You're back. I'm watching the replay because I want to watch your face when you laugh. You make a really funny face when you laugh. Even out of sight, he's under my full control, as park rules require. We're correct. It is just jetpack. You throw your cat your head back to like a cat. You know when the cats get a fed, they something weird happens. Kind of an expert on the history of I do that. Yeah, and the Niles little all time now. Our boy Niles is this weird little stray tabby we rescued and he has a skin condition so he's on medicine and keeps on digging at himself so he has to wear a cone and it's really bad no quite a coincidence i'll admit but no i am in no way related to the so what part of the world are you in i actually i feel like i know the least about you, Brigella. Like, of the three, well, I guess the four of you, yeah, I, well, like, like what's know your, you like, the least. your, mom's maiden name the last four of your social? Let's start there. Hush. We don't actually even know her real name. Or we're not supposed to. God, I forgot. Y'all are all secretive and weird. They work for her interactive, babe. Ooh. We're not supposed to know their names. <laughs> Can't wait for the Clue Crew conventions to be official. Yes, girl. Casey, I'm going to Yas, make it happen. queen. Yas. Also. You're in Seattle area. Oh, that's cute. Seattle. Grunge. 
<laughs> Frasier. That's, about, that's all I know about Seattle. Coco, you've never left the East. I have barely left the East Coast. You haven't left the East Coast. I went as far as Tennessee. You're the only 10 I see. Sneaky, sneaky. Yes. Yeah, Ghost and Brie are the only ones I don't know the real names. Yeah. Well, we definitely are supposed to know Ghost's name. <laughs> Ghost. I found this old picture in Sally's house. Do you know who these people are? The man is Mickey Malone. I know I that. actually feel like I did know I'm that you were in the Seattle this area, Brie. girlfriend. Uh, Vivian Burnett, I think her name was. And judging by the year of that brand new Ford in the background, I'd say the picture was taken in 1928. Ford. Found she on was road probably dead. as familiar with Malone's Fix house or repair and his daily. dogs as he was. Think there's any chance she's still alive? Tell you what, Miss Drew. Yes. Why don't I go through my files and see what I can dig up on this mystery woman? I think there was a cat I'm here a busy in my man, tea. but like I always yeah. say, I'm here to serve. There it is. Yep, there was a cat here in my tea. <clears throat> Me freaking owl. <laughs> I've never been to the West Coast. Oh, yeah. You know what? Me either. Everyone in my college is like, I went to Italy over the summer. And I go, haha, I went to my bed. <laughs> Same, Coco. It doesn't sound that exciting. I would love to go to Italy. I would love to Pizza leave. Pizza pie. I, don't know. I would love to leave the country once in my life. I've never left the country. I've never even flown on an airplane. We have a garbage when cost of living. Politicians arrested. who don't care about I'm sorry, us. Ms. Drew. As usual, well, I'm a little what's, Why would you want to leave? It's great here. If you have more questions, why don't you sit down at the computer and peruse the Moon Lake database of fascinating factoids that I've put together? I love that he thinks these things are fascinating. We appreciate, though, that he stands like this. <laughs> it's like Liam. That's how, Liam, that's how our son watches TV. He's just... It's a good thing he's cute. No, Liam puts his hands behind his back. He like does this. parade rest, but sometimes yeah. he stands there with his arms out like this, like a weirdo. <clears throat> You guys have also never left the country. Thank you I've for I've been to El well, Salvador twice. That's about it. Got food poisoning both times. Mm, it's not really that exciting. Moon Lake. They all left and went America. to America. And there's people like Hugh who just went on like a six country tour. <clears throat> Think about how often, how much, how much of a nightmare it'd be to fly with Liam. You have travel anxiety. I totally understand. Yeah, I can't sit still on the planes that for long. <clears throat> That's my issue. I would have to take like an Ambien and just fall asleep. Ooh, Abby, I have an idea for where you can fly next year. I think you should fly to come visit me. We have an airport. I think that would be really cool, Abby. I think that you I think you would find it to be really fun. Have you gotten the results back from that water <clears throat> sample I left with you? I meant to call the Department of Health today oh, for a status report. Said it report, before. Frankly, I've been Deuce. way too busy. Thanks for joining. Of course. Few clicker here in the Pacific Northwest. The Pacific yeah. Northwest, like Kalina and Arklefump and Ray. Some sick pants, Hugh is there. sort of nearby, but in Canada, Hugh is sort of nearby. <laughs> Sounds like Moon Lake could use two rangers. If I were in charge of just ten more acres of parkland. Me and sister. I could devote more time to the acquisition of more land and eventually put Moon Lake on the map as one of the biggest, most popular parks in the state. Yeah, Daniela, those are big states, though, so it's probably harder to, like, drive around them. <laughs> on the East Coast, our states are, like, this big, so, like, I can get to three other states and the District of Columbia within two hours no four if i add another hour so yeah <laughs> why didn't the parks department buy the malone property instead of sally she outbid them the oh sports. abby you well, should go to ireland that's so you good. other people are bound to think am i still planning on the, the convention for the dc yes i am and i am land. planning that you'll but i think it's going to be in 2025 so i haven't touched it in like a couple of months because i've been really really busy but i'm going to plan it for 2025 because my friend hannah you guys know her um nancy drew nerd she is planning one for 2024 and i don't want to um compete with that so I'm going to do mine next year. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> now that I know Moon Lake is real, I really want to visit. So actually, I've been really wanting to visit Moon Lake too, and it's only about two hours from me. Mm 
I'm sorry, I really am. It's just that Sally's my friend, and I'd really like to find out why someone's doing this to her. Tell you what, if you're serious about making amends, there's some boxes by the computer labeled with dates. Oh, you went on a cruise, from the Lauren. That's cool. Local history buff. She kept everything from Where did you guys cruise to? to old photos to recipes for apple crisp. She put everything in envelopes, then numbered them by year using Roman numerals. Just put the envelopes in order by year with the earliest date in front. Oh, and if you're <laughs> rusty on wrong. Roman numerals, there's an entry on them in the computer. <clears throat> I can't imagine living in a state where I couldn't drive to another state within an hour. I also can't imagine living in a state where I couldn't get to the ocean within, like, an hour or a couple of hours. Okay, if I read what's in the envelopes? Don't go reading anything until you're through. I I'll do not like being landlocked. What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I recently found out that William Akers had a son. All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. I knew it! And you don't want anyone to know that. It's not exactly something I'm <laughs> proud of. My father spent his whole Nancy, don't life trying between to make you and Lisa saw her what my grandfather <laughs> was, and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same. Thing. I can't imagine living anywhere near an ocean. Oh my gosh, Abby! No. What did William Akers do after Malone was arrested? I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. <clears throat> yes, little Miss Drew. See. Me too. I get all four seasons, sometimes in one week. There's an ocean. If I want to go a couple hours away, there's mountains. Like, I've got it all. I live half an hour from the ocean where I live right now. I'm close enough that I can get there super easily. And I can do, like, day trips or even, like, a couple of hours trips. But far enough away that it's not a beach town. Oh, Coco, I know, I understand. Coco, come come visit Maryland. You could see it all. Let's see. Jeff said the envelope with the earliest date goes down in the front of each box. All right, I'm going to focus. I... Hold on. What am I? Oh, no. What? Oh, this one.
Okay, what did I do wrong? Now that they're all sorted, I can do some reading. <clears throat> okay, what did I miss? Mountains are so much better than the beach? I don't know about that, Casey. You went to cruises in the Bahamas, Cozumel, Mexico, St. John, a few other places. Wow, that's super cool. You're used to living in a desert. You can't imagine getting to another state that quickly. That's really cool, you guys. All right. <clears throat> All right, everybody tell me, if money was no object, where would you travel to? I was just looking at. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Morgan. Nice to see you. Guess what I'm playing? I'm looking for recipes for Apple Crisp. Septics Road Show. Go to Venice before it's completely underwater. That's valid. I apologize for my previous behavior. As a park ranger, I strive to keep my personal feelings in check at all times, <clears throat> and that time I failed. It's my duty as a public servant to try to make it up to you. What would you like to know? England, Scotland, Brazil, and Israel. You live in Tennessee? Oh, that sounds beautiful, Lauren. That sounds absolutely beautiful. Germany. Disney? Ooh, yes. See, all the Disneylands. What a great idea. I would definitely want to go to Disneyland in Florida, or Disney World. In Florida, right? That's the one. I think I'd want to go to Italy. I would really like to go to Jordan. I think it's beautiful. There's some really interesting stuff there. But my top, absolute top tier place that I would want to visit, that actually I'm really hoping to visit, like, first and foremost is actually Egypt. I want so badly to go to Egypt. What can you tell me about the gold that Malone supposedly buried then in his Scotland, property? Paris. As far mm -hmm. as I know, it doesn't exist. It's just one of those rumors people want to believe, so they do. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. You're back. Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. I finished putting all those envelopes in order. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Drew. And to show my gratitude, I've got something for you. Chances are it isn't a paycheck. Chances are it isn't a paycheck. No, it's an honorary junior park yes. ranger pin. I keep them on hand so I can give them out to children whom I see demonstrating respect for park rules and regulations. A little bit of positive reinforcement. Prague? Unfortunately, mm. I don't get to give them out that often. Oh, gee, thanks, Ranger Acres. 
I've been trying to take pictures of birds for this guy named Red Knot. Ever met him? Oh, yes. The bird man. I'd stay away from him if I were you. Why? Is something wrong with him? He's a fanatic. He's got it in his head that Moon Lake would be the best bird watching venue in the world except for one thing. Too many people. Believe me, <coughs> if there was a way to get this park shut down and all the homes on the lake torn down, he'd do it in an instant. Thanks for all your help. Why do you say no like that? <laughs> oh my gosh, so good. Thank you for joining Elizabeth. I hope that you have a good evening. You want to go to all 50 states? That's cool. Nice junior park ranger pin. You I love that Nancy's wearing it probably. Acres good side. I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an Nancy's article dripping sarcasm. It really got my curiosity going. What else can you tell me about him? Person you should talk to is Jeff Akers. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? All I got to say about it is, if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. Guess I'll see you later. Yola, hee hoo. <laughs> <clears throat> you could meet the clue crew along the way if you do a road trip. That's right. You're back. Thanks ah, for all your help. I was hoping you'd That's have info I'm for here. me. All right. Well, where's the door? So, I don't think this is the tree Red was talking about. Well, I don't see any hawks, oh, but that's this right. is probably the tree Red was talking about. At least it was the tree. That sounded like a hawk. Good camera out. There it is. I better get a picture before it takes off. Stop. Go. Susie should Woo. be sleeping. So you know Morgan's here. Standing on. Oh, that looks like a speaker. Mm. It painted that tree. You sure uh -huh. did. I better get out of here. <gasps> My arms and legs are tied. I can't move. At least I can kick. If I could just get that scythe down, I could use the blade to cut the rope around my wrists and free my hands. <laughs> You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? There we go. Woo! Yes, girl, get it! I can't just let this thing burn up. I've got to put it out. Oh, hold on. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? I'm over here eating goldfish. <laughs> Snoopy Susie, aren't you? I love that idea, Lauren. Get a couple of vans and uh, get the clue crew together, hang out. What in blazes happened? I saw the fire from my platform and came running. You weren't in there playing with matches, were you? <laughs> I was looking at birds, and then I noticed something on the house, and the next thing I knew, I was locked in the tool shed and somebody was setting it on fire. Whoa, you're not making much sense. Probably smoke inhalation or something. Come talk to me after you've cleaned yourself up and gotten some sleep. I need to tell you something. Take me to the van. <laughs> Someone's trying to kill you? I didn't say that. 
somebody knocked you out, locked you in a shed, set it on fire, and you think they were what? Just pulling in my bag? van. Nick saw him. Oh. Vibes, Nancy. I guess it's just hard for me to believe that anybody would consider <clears throat> me to be that big a threat. What was my first thought that like yourself. we would lure Sally her in fine. with Coco I feel <laughs> bad about your tool shed, though. Who cares about the shed? It was full of junk anyway. I'm glad to be <clears throat> rid of it. That's kind of the way Ranger Akers saw it, too. He showed up right after the bird watcher did and ticketed me for burning refuse in a manner that endangered park property. Ah, uh, that man is insufferable. Emily was nice, though. She came by right afterwards and wouldn't leave until I drank the tea she made for me. Sus. Look, Nancy, <clears throat> one more time. If you want to leave, just say the word and I'll come get you. Sally, one more time. I'm fine. Well, then promise me you'll be careful, okay? I promise. I'll be in touch. You better. Coco could be bribed. <laughs> yeah. You guys too. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh. I haven't looked at my PDA in a while. <clears throat> Sorry guys, allergies. Okay, cool. Wait, let's go investigate the roof. Oh, it's gone. Your cats, Daniela. Oh my gosh, sounds familiar. You're a real snoopy Susie, aren't you? Have you guys noticed I haven't been jumping tonight? I don't know, what's different? Good news. I have information on your mystery woman. Woo! You are incredible, Ranger Acres. What did you find <clears throat> out? Her name these days is Vivian <laughs> Whitmore. She lives in Las Vegas, and her number is 702-555-9137. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? There's something here for you from the State Department of Health. And you didn't think to give it to You're me? You're a real snoopy Susie, aren't you? Dang. Oh my gosh, not uh -uh. only is the water bad, but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. Huh. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions. You're a real Snoopy food. Susie, aren't you? I'm you guys sure are really a trying. Less melodramatic explanation. <clears throat> Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. I'm glad Lilo's okay, Morgan. You guys are trying so hard with the Snoopy Susie tonight, and it is not getting me. Ha ha ha. FMK. Oh. <clears throat> Make it happen. Oh my gosh, Abby, I did not know that. I, um, I filter my water, so. <laughs> Double FMKs. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> All right.
Katie Firestone. Three FMKs. Okay, you guys need to stop. Gray Courtright. <clears throat> Fiona Malloy. All right, that's your first round. Everybody sound off in the comments. I'm going to say... I'm going to marry Katie. I'm going to... I'm going to kiss Gray. I'm going to fight Fiona. There you go. Round two. You guys better be fast, because I'm... Whipping through them. Ewan McLeod. I know who we're fighting. <laughs> Jeez, Abby, that's horrible. Little Miss Drew, you had the same as me. Alejandro Del Rio. Woo! <clears throat> That's a really interesting one, you guys. Pajima! <laughs> okay. Um, this is an easy one for me. Okay, so I'm gonna marry Alejandro Del Rio. I'm gonna kiss Fatima on her weird, huge head thing that she wears. And I'm going to fight Ewan because, ew. <clears throat> and <clears throat> anyway come on guys give a kiss to that poor old lady Oh, Lauren's gonna reluctantly marry Gray <laughs> all three for Fatima little Miss Drew we are in complete agreement again love it Josh is going to marry Fatima. Absolutely drop kicking you in. Yes. All right, round three. Woo! Jeff Akers. <clears throat> Mason Quinto. And Jacques Brunet. I'm sorry. This is an interesting one. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight Jacques Brunet because TBH, I kind of believe that he is marrying that girl to extend his visa. Um, I'm going to kiss Mason because Loki, he cut cute. <laughs> and then I'm going to marry Jeff Akers because I actually really love Jeff Akers, so. Mm. Right, Jacques immediately. Yes, Coco. I know. Oh, little Miss Drew, we're not the same anymore. Oh, you guys, that was fun. <clears throat> Fight Jacques for sure. Thanks, Brigella. See, I think he's the most fightable. I mean, you freaking get knocked out. And he's like, how could you? What a jerk. I <laughs> think Mason would annoy me. Kiss Jeff, although he looks like my ex. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too funny. I think he's so cute. Not your ex, I think Jeff is so cute. 
Okay, what am I... Oh, I need to go call Vivian. Just keep this if you're feeling right, hang up right now. I got an air horn in my hand that could deafen a dinosaur, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, Guys, no, no, I love please. Vivian. I haven't selling anything. Believe me, is this Vivian Whitmore? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. You got exactly five seconds to state your business. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. I just wanted to ask you some questions. All right. The Moon Lake Park Ranger said you might call. I'll be suing you. <laughs> That's An right. old friend of mine is flying in today from Florida. And when I say old, I mean old, as in five years older than I am. Don't bother trying to do the math. Or an indefinite dinosaur. So, <clears throat> that ranger fella said you found an old picture Jacques of Jacques and me. Colin are similar in their bizarre, angry outbursts. Never thought about that before. Yeah, little Miss Drew. When I played... Um, Trojan World Tower, when I was a child, I never really noticed it. But as an adult, I just noticed so many red flags about Jacques. I wish he was a visible character that you had to walk through the woods to see. That would be so cool. It was of you and Mickey Malone. Do you remember him? I, I want her air horn as a sound about that time of my life. Do it, it Daniela. Was the roaring 20s for crying out loud. One of the most exciting decades <coughs> in American history. Just because I've got a few years on most people doesn't mean my brain's turned to tapioca, sweet stuff. Wow, speaking of tapioca, we were talking about that earlier. Did you spend much time at his place on Moon Lake? Moving in the woods. Moon yeah. Lake. Talk about your fond memories. I had a lot of fun there. Although I wasn't anywhere near as wild as most young people were back then. But I think Mickey kind of respected me for that. I was his gal for five years. He always kept birch beer on tap at that speakeasy of his just for me. Tell me about the speakeasy. It was in the basement, right there at Moon Lake. <clears throat> Literally all the red flags. It, I know. Was anybody on the East Coast I really think then. that they were trying After so hard to make him like bankers, kind of a heartthrob, but you it just are a real fell flat. Snoopy and then Susie, you? That didn't work. Didn't get me. <laughs> Why am I like on fire tonight? Like I am. I am impenetrable to my own. <laughs> Redeemables tonight. <laughs> That's weird. I'm staying in his old house on Moon Lake, and I haven't seen any sign of a speakeasy. Of course you haven't. You're not supposed to. Only Mickey and Willie knew how to get into the speakeasy from the house. The rest of us had to go in and out the regular way, through the cemetery. The cemetery? There was a lock hidden in one of the tombstones in that little cemetery behind the house. <coughs> you needed a key to unlock it, and when you did, stairs Definitely more of a nervous that heart That's exactly what it is, Jetpack. Um, when me and my sister streamed the, um, you got used to us redeeming them? <laughs> yes, I did. I finally got used to it. You're gonna hop off the stream for a bit, like come back in a little while if I'm not too late. Oh, thank you, little Miss Drew. We'll have a good time. Um, what was I saying? Oh, jetpack. So if you saw or anybody who is here, um, obviously, if you guys saw my stream of Treasure Wall Tower with my sister, um, we we really discussed that in depth. First of all, um, we talked a little bit about the Jacques Brunet red flags, but we also discussed how he was, like, a 90s type of heartthrob, which was very different from, like, today's type of heartthrobs, and how her interaction was really trying something back then, where it was just, like, kind of, like, a, like, a date everyone type of thing. So, we talked about that a lot in our Trust and World Tower stream. So, if you guys haven't seen that one, I highly suggest checking it out. Also, it's super fun because it's me and Abigail, and it was the first game we ever played when we were kids, and it's still her favorite game to this day, so it's a fun one. <clears throat> I 
Do you have any idea how to get into Malone's speakeasy from the house? I sure don't. That saloon was built using two main ingredients, concrete and secrecy. Mickey always bragged that nobody could get in unless he wanted them in, and I do believe he was right. I look forward to being able to watch your live stream in 1080p quality or higher. Me and Mickey, I'll send you yeah, just wait until I re-upload it. <laughs> Susie should be sleeping? No. You may have joined for a little bit when I was live. You probably did. You usually show up at least for a little while during my streams, and I love that. Like, I just, I love you for that, Jessica. The key to the tombstone? You still have it? It's in the bottom of my jewelry box. I've come this close to throwing it out a hundred times, but it's so small, and the memories it brings mm. back are so big. Well, I just couldn't. Have I love that. Joke. Mickey had a tombstone made with the name of this federal agent who had it out for him inscribed on it. That's the one the key unlocks. William Akers, the guy you call Willie. He wrote about looking for the gold that Malone had supposedly buried on his property at Moon Lake. Do you know anything Is about that? The hole in the floor gold no. hides. Well, no. I'll no. be darned. So it's true? He did bury gold on his property? Truth be told, when Mickey told me he was the one who pulled off that heist and that he'd buried 20 gold bars at Moon Lake, I didn't believe him. I thought he was making it up. See, Mickey and I were on the outs by then. I thought he was just trying to entice me to come back. But if he told Willie the same thing, maybe there's something to the story after all. Susie should be sleeping? No. How about Lilo should be sleeping? You guys are really trying. <clears throat> I just remembered something really important. I had to take care of it right now. On one of my last streams, Tori redeemed a coupon code. And I forgot to send it to her. <laughs> Do you have any idea where he might have hidden it? Right not. So will there be more redeems? The yes, there will be. I have many ideas. I just don't about the work they done. have they were to leave the, the state time or, or energy or to put the effort in right now. But you know, I think he mentioned a map. Yes. He said he was making a treasure map. Where the <laughs> The dog. Something about those dogs of his. I just need Mr. Susie's number to tell him to just go jump at you. So he can't. Because he's in a part of the house over there. I have the perfect view. That if he tried to come downstairs without me seeing. It's impossible. <coughs> the dogs will lead the way? He was always saying that. In fact, I'm pretty sure he had it engraved on his tombstone. <coughs> think, Viv, think. He said he was making a treasure map, and that he was also having paintings done of each dog. He made it sound like one thing had something to do with the other, like he was giving me some big important clue. But I just figured he was playing games, trying to lure me back with mystery and intrigue. I told him to buzz off. Maybe I shouldn't have. Did he say what he was going to do with the paintings? He said he was going to hang them in the speakeasy, <coughs> and I'm sure that's precisely Toy! what he did. Hello. Can you remember anything about Malone's dogs that might suggest where he hit the goal? I stayed away from his dogs. They made me nervous, always jumping around, barking at this or that. The only one I liked was... Uh, Oh, what was his name? Iggy. I liked Iggy because he was nice and quiet. He just lay on the porch all day and didn't make a peep. Do you know anything about the safe that's in the cellar of his house at Moon Lake? You must be talking about the wall safe. That was Willie's. By Willie, I mean William Akers, one of the guys who worked for Mickey. What can you tell me about William Akers? He was Mickey's most trusted employee. Mickey treated all his other men like dirt, but not Willie. 
He honestly, like Willie, respected him, trusted him implicitly. <coughs> it's been fun talking to you. I know. She's so great. Okay. Let's get down to it. What do I need to do? <laughs> You guys, my throat is not doing great. <clears throat> Hello again, Miss Drew. Am I in for another interrogation? Haha, <laughs> always. I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just give it to me and I'll take care of it. I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get this back. Thanks for all your help. What a Always great a deal. Go to the cemetery and go to the passageway. I don't have the key yet. <coughs> yeah. to give Red his camera back. No. I hear the doggies. Hello there. I owe you an apology. After you came up here looking for those red tails, I gave my map a closer look and realized it was more than 50 years old. The reason you can't find them is probably because their favorite <clears throat> nesting tree is gone. <laughs> Finding that hawk's gonna be harder than I thought, so why don't you just give me back my camera and I'll take it from here? It didn't get burned up in that fire or anything, did it? Ugh. Somebody clobbers me over the head and then tries to barbecue me, and all you're worried about is your camera? It's a very expensive camera. Is it now? I never noticed those gas cans before. I ran out of gas. So much for being prepared, huh? Well, ah. that's all I wanted to tell you. I'm sure you've got places to go, things to see, people to pester. Mickey Malone supposedly buried a bunch of stolen gold bars on his property way back in the 20s. Did you know that? Really? Every time you like the that's live, it adds one year to the culprit's I don't jail care, time. But it's interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> Ever hear of a man named William Akers? I know an extremely annoying park ranger named Jeff Akers, but I've never heard of any William Akers. You'll be happy to know that I did get a picture of a red-tailed hawk. So here's your camera back. I got all the birds. Thank you, Nancy. Nice work. You're a credit to your generation. See you in a while. Just remember, eyes open, mouth shut. Bye. Red irks me. Yeah, same. I am not a, a big just red. Fan. For you from Las yes. Vegas. <clears throat> Great. Vivian sent me the key. I'll dispose of the package. Look at the beach hill stamp. That's so cool. Wouldn't want to break any littering laws, would we? Uh, Thanks for all your help. That's why you I'm here. You hush up. I always go the wrong way. It's this way. <laughs> Seeing red because of red. MJ never noticed. I love those little nods to the games. Come on up! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Hello, my dear. Say hello, guys. Oh, Salem. My little guy. Okay. <clears throat> Nope. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. Why am I so bad at this? Okay, so there's that, but I need... Getting smart this time. Okay, so there's... One, two, three, four, right? Okay, so one, two, three. Oh, well, the W is messed up. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've been ignoring you guys. Everyone's saying hi to Salem. Boy kitties, yes. Hi, Kalina. Hello, hello. Why can't it just be Banky Matthias? I know. 
Yes, Tori, your spooky Brigitte's ballad is so good. Okay. <clears throat> you guys, I've got to get this. I forgot that this is basically the puzzle that makes Senior Detective unbearable. Okay. Now I've got Aldo. <laughs> I've still got... Ah! Okay, so I was one off there. So I'm three more and I'm good there. So, how do I do this? How do I do this? Think, think, think. Thanks, you guys. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so... If I do this three times, then I get that. But Balpy. I hate this, you guys. Awful. <laughs> where's Baldo instead of where's Waldo? <clears throat> oh, seriously? You know, I bet you're right. So I was so busy not listening to her when we called her that I guess I forgot to ask her for the password. <clears throat> You're a real you? snoopy no. Susie, aren't you? This is your station drop -off. Can't get me. Fixing <clears throat> snacks in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, Eustacia and Drop-Off? Harry Houdini's cousin? Use the air horn like I showed you! No, Eustacia, wait! It's Nancy Drew. I talked to you <clears throat> on the phone a couple of months ago, just after a friend of mine was kidnapped in St. Louis. I asked you questions about the theater where the kidnapping took place. The Royal Palladium, remember? Nancy Drew. The Snoopy one. You're not dead yet? Uh, no. Most people, I talk to them one day, next day they're dead. It is an old age thing. Oh, stop being so morbid here. Have some clam dip. Hello? Clam dip. Nancy? So you know Eustacia, huh? Small <clears throat> world. Well, what's up? I got the key you sent me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There's just one thing. It doesn't seem to work. 
is my brain. The key unlocks the letters of the inscription. Uh, uh, just dial in the password and you'll be set. There's just one more thing. Oh, uh, you don't know the password. I'm sorry. You Station and I have been playing Canasta all day, and I guess beating her all those times took more out of my brain than I thought. <laughs> Next game, I win. Next game, lose a face for pizza. Well, get out your wallet, sister, because you're going down. <laughs> I uh, love them so much. Oh, yeah, the password, the password. Let's <clears throat> it was the name of that federal agent, his first name. Waldo? No, 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 not his real first name. Oh, what? Mickey was always calling him Baldo. That was it, Baldo. I always thought it was mean to call him that. Especially since Mickey was starting to get a little sparse on top himself. Love so it. I just turn the letters until they spell Baldo? Yes, dear, but like almost everything else in life, it's trickier than it sounds. Are there any other tricks to getting into the speakeasy that I should know about? <sighs> I suppose it's only fair to warn you about the tunnels, and the doors, and the dead ends. Tunnels? You mean there's more than one way to get to the speakeasy from the cemetery? Mickey had his men dig a bunch of tunnels between the speakeasy and the cemetery, with hidden doors that opened when other doors closed, and lots of dead ends, so that if the speakeasy was ever raided, his guests could hide from the police. I was always terrified of getting lost. But you're a plucky girl. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah. It's been fun talking to you. I know. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's go do it again. Oh, I'm sorry. I've wasted all your time, you guys. I've already gone the wrong way. not the way. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Start over. Okay. There we go. Mm, I, I just did this perfectly and now I really forget the way to the cemetery. <clears throat> I feel like it's this way. And then... Good golly! Okay. Where's my map? <clears throat> How dare you make me watch more Ghost Dog? I'm so sorry. Okay. <clears throat> That's right. I kept taking wrong turns. Uh, it looks like some kind of keyhole. <coughs> oh, I should not do that. My voice cannot handle it. Okay, I need to logic this. So, so the end result needs to be Baldo. Okay, the letter directly before B is S. And the letter directly before A is R. But then I'm gonna want... That moves all three. Oh my god, I did it! <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay. So anyway, how's everyone's night going? <laughs> it's too dark. I need a flashlight. I'm using a flashlight, girl. Oh, the batteries are going dead. Fine. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. Okay. <clears throat> Click too quickly. I like this puzzle coming up. Do you see my really appropriate snack for tonight? Scooby snacks? Because they look like little doggy bones. How you holding up? I need flashlight batteries. Do you carry them? Yep. But you know... I've been meaning to make a pretty display out of them packs of combo coal over there for the longest time. Just can't seem to get around to it. I could probably do that. Here's the way it should look when you're done. Can I take it, please? Thank you. Did I get it? <clears throat> How you holding up? You need some Scooby Snacks or like graham cracker? Yeah, they're like a cinnamon, like ginger snap type of thing. They're not, they're not a ginger snap, but they're hard, like a ginger snap. But they're like a cinnamon cookie. Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking. Ta-da! 
one smiling goldfish. <laughs> it's obviously never tried combo cola. I figured it out. <clears throat> Nancy, this mean you got them cans stacked? You bet. They look just like the picture you gave me, which you can have back. Here's your batteries, and thanks, Nancy. <clears throat> All right, you guys, it's time to go enter the speakeasy. My husband was making fun of me for eating Scooby Snacks the other day because they really look like dog treats. <clears throat> and then he ate one and he was like, wow, they're kind of hard like a dog treat too. <clears throat> and I mean, yeah, they are. <laughs> I think that's the point. <laughs> you guys ever see uh hi laura you guys ever see the show perfect strangers from the 80s basically one of the, na the main characters names was balky so that's why i was thinking that Give me strength. How did that get so messed up? Oh my god. Are the letters not cooperating? No. <clears throat>
I'm gonna logic it. Um, Jessica, if you never used the old discount, it's still good. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what your name is. How did I do that? Thanks, you guys. Elizabeth, you're back! Woo! It's silly to try to explore this in the dark. Gotcha. So this is the speakeasy. Wow. It's beautiful. If map is correct, the tree where Vitus would fork at the hawks used to be right about here. Yeah. I love this place. It's so beautiful. So Lucy would swim out to the shipwreck, which is about here. Oh, baby. Those must be the spigots William Akers mentioned in his journal. I don't remember how to solve this. <clears throat> There's a bar in your hometown that reminds you of the speakeasy. Or the speakeasy reminds you of the bar. <laughs> Hi, Arcelli. How is it going? Okay. Who remembers how to solve this? Do you want a hint or a flat out do this? Um, I definitely need a hint because I absolutely don't remember what I was supposed to do. Like I have my notes here of like whose collar belongs to who. You think you remember, but you don't want to say it in case you're wrong. I mean, there's no shame here. That's the solution for Junior. Well, that's not going to help me. Can look it up for me. <laughs> I just want. I just want to know what my general goal is here. Right now, I've got lava. Roman numerals connect to the dog's howl because each of their names start with those letters. But how am I supposed to get the letters? Like, 
like I know that um, Xander's collar is red, so I'm trying to get X on this one, but like, Am I just supposed to keep doing this? I can't do that, Jessica. Okay, well, I got what I wanted. That doesn't make much sense, though. So, Vi uh, Vitus, Vitus, he's blue. <clears throat> Letters are misbehaving again, yeah. I'm looking for V this time. I don't like that I have to do it this way. This is, this doesn't make much sense. Okay, but whatever. I know, I'm saying, this doesn't make sense. But like, whatever. Did it? Woo! Okay. <clears throat> that was frustrating. I don't like that. Where is that door? Oh. Getaway car vacations. Where was that door? Just went through another door, Nancy. Doggies. There's a di direct correlation to how many times it spins per pole, so you just have to calculate how many times you need to spin based on the number of letters. Oh. It's too dark. Well, <clears throat> I can't be bothered. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Ooh. Hello. I feel like a past one. Yeah, I did. Igmeister. Okay, that's the wrong map. Vetus. I had a cat in my face. Oh. By the time I figure out how many times I should pull this spigot, it's easier and faster to just do the one turn at a time. I know, right, Sorry. Lucy. Xander played by the pump, which is right here. All right. Okie dokie. Now let's go use our little map. So, got one dog here. Right? And we've got... Wait. One dog here. And we've got... Ugh, keeps doing it to me. That's there. Alright. Oh, that doesn't that sound good. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> okay. It's some kind of lock. 
Oh, please tell me I've got the key. It's some kind of lock. I sure don't. <coughs> Ooh. So you're the ghost dog. You look pretty real to me. Look, they're so cute. Oh, they're just babies. Look at them. They're just good little boys and girls. That's the speaker I saw in the house. Haha. <laughs> Yes. At this point, it's so obvious who it is. Okay. I bet the dogs attacked Sally's house because some high frequency signal was transmitted to them through the speaker I saw. It's been a while room. since I've played too. They are such cute puppers. Just little puppies. I gotta do that again. Luckily, there's like a pattern, so. It's oh. <laughs> kind of Open the door, Nancy. <laughs> Whoopsies. Bye, Jetpack. Thank you for joining. Okie dokie, where it oh there it is. Man, we're so close to finishing you guys. I'm so glad. It's blocked. I don't remember how to do this. The wheel is spinning, but nothing's happening. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. What's the pattern here? <laughs> it's blocked. Yeah, seriously. It's locked. It's locked. It's blocked. It's locked. <clears throat> Think you need to put the screwdriver back in? Well, I tried. It's locked. I've tried every combination apparently except for the correct one. Help. I love the end game of this. <laughs> yeah. Because you need to turn the loose wheel. It's blocked. 
Oh, shiz. There we go. <clears throat> you can just go look at the doggies for a while instead. <laughs> I'm this close to finding the gold. I just know it. Okay, what is this? Um... Okay, so 50. Green is Lucy. L is 50. Red is Xander. Xander is X, which is 10. Vetus is blue, and V is 5. There we go. Alright. This one's much easier than Something's that one. What's missing here? Make sure this door is closed all the way before I fool around with anything else. <coughs> Stop turning it. Is my laptop not charging right now? There we go. Things started going dark. <laughs> I want to know how her named the real doggies. Ooh, it's a good locked. question. pounds of gold bullion. Wow. Wow. Hello. Hey there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? Just some stuff, you know. <sighs> wow, I really thought I was getting away. <laughs> Hey there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? Move faster, Nancy. Am I not allowed to get away? Hey there, Nancy. Why, what on earth have we got here? I can't let Emily catch me. Don't you shut that door on me, Nancy Drew. Ha. If I don't keep moving, Emily will catch me. I see what my problem was. Get her hair. There's plenty of gold here we can share. Open the door. No. I need to get out of here. Nancy, wait. Let's talk about this. This can just be our little secret. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, remember? Nancy, the gold's all it yours, I didn't know you were here. Enjoy it while you can. Dear Ned, 
As soon as I got out of the tunnels, Emily had left a door open. I called the sheriff. Emily's open, I led him back down the well to the room where I she left Emily, the she, she sure to does. Leave. He and his deputies finally got her out, but one of them said afterward that if he had to choose between getting a bear away from her cub and getting Emily away from that gold, he'd pick the bear. Yay! What's worse, by the time they took Emily away, the place was swarming with reporters from all over the country. The commotion has scared away every bird for miles. She does look comfy. I'm pretty sure Red Knot would like to strangle me. I've got a kind of a... When Ranger Acres found out that seven cars and two helicopters right were illegally parked on park property and that he was going to get to ticket them, it. he was ecstatic. Tucker Davis finally cleared away that dead tree, which means I'm free to drive home. Moon Lake is beautiful, but I've had enough wildlife for now. Which reminds me, did I mention that those four puppy. ghost dogs are actually very sweet? Eddie, Meryl, They're Bruce, so and Cher. But Sally is seriously thinking about adopting them. How's that for irony? Ever yours, Nancy. Puppies! Best hi, it's Nancy. I'm at this little amusement park on the coast. I wish I could say I was having a wonderful time, but the fact is, some pretty spooky things have been happening here. There have been some strange accidents, and the carousel, it starts up in the dead of night all by itself, like it's haunted or something. You know me, I don't get scared very easily, but I saw it myself, and I'll call you later. I've gotta go, I've gotta go right now. Spooky. Well, in which the trailer makes it look way scarier than it actually is. I wish it was the spooky too, it would have been so good. Instead it's like one of the happiest games we have, which I love, but still. I love Car 2, it is really a great game. Ah, you guys, what a fun game. Payphones. I know. All right, you guys. How about an FMK for the road? The music unsettles you so much. Oh, explain why for us, will you? All right, guys. One game of FMK for the road. <laughs> it's like the THX sound. Eek. Thank you. All right, Elizabeth. Carson Drew. Daddy Golf Ball. And Heather McKay. All right, I'm going to... I'm gonna marry Carson, I'm gonna kiss Heather, and I'm gonna fight Elizabeth. What do you guys think? And another one was redeemed, so let's do that one too. So you better get your answers in now because here comes another round. Zeddy Golf Ball, that's right. Gunner. It is hard. Ellie. And Hilda. Or Sully, my FMK spinning wheel games introduce you to the spinning wheel, and it's a lot of fun for other games. It's so fun, right? All right, so Gunner, Ellie, and Hilda. Um, I'm gonna gonna marry Hilda. Gonna kiss Gunner. I'm gonna fight Ellie. There you go. <coughs> okay, and that of course Southern Sleuth is marrying Gunner. She loves Gunner. One more. Okay. <laughs> Elliot chat. Ooh. I love me some Elliot. <clears throat> I 
You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? Fred not left. You can't just change the rules, Abby. Julia would marry Ellie. Nancy Drew! Oh, hey. Wait, was that three? <clears throat> Wait. Elliot, Red Knot, Nancy Drew. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna marry Elliot. I'm going to kiss Nancy, and I'm going to fight Red. Gross. Morgan says she likes her men gruff and with few words. Ugh. Brigella, how could you marry Nancy? She is not the marrying type. She's the leave the country on your anniversary type. <clears throat> I love the grumpy stereotype. Oh my gosh. I mean, the grumpy stereotype would be great if he wasn't like, like old and set in his ways and like also just kind of I mean, he's really sweet, but I don't know, you guys. If you meet my boyfriend, you'll get it. Oh, my gosh. She's got generational wealth. That would make Carson your daddy-in-law. I actually do quite well with long distance. I could probably handle it. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. I mean, Nancy's better than Elliot. She won't strangle me. I like Elliot. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember my stream with Chloe when we played Carr? And she didn't know who the culprit was. So she just kept calling him Hot Guy. <laughs> oh, one more. Okay, guys. Last one. And then we will be on our way. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? You guys can try. You're not going to get me. Millie. Not generational wealth. Mora. Okay, you guys got to stop. Millie, Mara, and maybe it'll be another older lady. Maybe it's going to be the older lady round. Sunny June. Oh, okay. I am marrying Sunny June so freaking hard. And then um, I'm going to... I'm going to kiss Moira and I'm going to fight Millie. <clears throat> Talk about winning at the father-in-law game, yeah? Well, if you don't want to be married, marry Nancy, because it'll feel like a circle. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> yes. Marry Sunny. Sunny is the only acceptable marriage material there. No other answers matter. Absolutely. <clears throat> Hugh Pendleton. Don't fight Sunny! No! George Fain! <clears throat> Brigella agrees with me. And finally, Diego Valdez. Alright, so... Honestly, Diego Valdez sounded like a cool dude. So I'm going to marry Diego Valdez. I'm going to kiss George. I'm going to fight you. Fighting Millie in the proper room, baby. <clears throat> okay, Hugh for stability. No, listen, no. Hugh raised a potential future serial killer. So let's let's not forget that. Diego could be cool, exactly. Yeah, that's right. If you marry Hugh, you also get Jane. Fight Hugh for abandoning his wife. 
Literally. I know. Okay, you guys. He was not a nice dad or a husband. Fight him. Exactly, Brigella. I am with you. Nobody marry you. It's a bad idea. That family has serious problems. <clears throat> okay, you guys. This has been just a wonderful time. I'm so glad that you joined me. Oh, look at that. My webcam is frozen there. Just kidding. <laughs> um... So thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. And do you guys know what next time is this week? I'm so excited. So the next time you guys are going to see me is on Saturday evening. And Saturday evening is Spilling the Tea with Susie and Carter. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to have the best time. So... Um, I'm going to be away this weekend at my family's house. Um, <clears throat> so it'll look a little bit different, but, um, everything's still going to be exactly the same. And I am going to put up my question box on Friday morning. So be sure to put in all your questions for Carter. I know he's so super excited to answer everything you guys have. Just like, let him have it. It'll probably be a long one. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me. And be on the lookout for that question box in my story on Instagram on Friday. And that will last for 24 hours. So please make sure that you get your questions in on time. I do accept questions via like message if necessary. If you have a question that's kind of long. Or if you like just missed the like the cutoff or something. Um, but typically if you send me a message like right before the stream. I will not get it. <laughs> or um, I just won't have time to like get it into the mix. So definitely try to get things in sooner rather than later and yeah I want him to pass me <laughs> yeah oh my gosh wait what maybe I'll watch you for a little bit oh you can talk enough to do it yeah I mean so far our longest episode was with Tori and I think <clears throat> I know that I've said I think that that was because I made that mistake and I double posted the question box and I got like a lot of questions, but also like I I could just talk to Tori forever. <laughs> so it was, um, it was just a really fun episode. I mean, like I have loved everyone who has come on this show so far, but Tori and I just vibe. So it was really, really fun to talk to Tori. So she has the current record for longest episodes. So we'll see if Carter beats Tori's record. But um, yeah, so be thinking, be thinking about your questions for Carter. And um, I will see you on Saturday. And then I don't know if you guys saw, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen that I posted a stream schedule today for the month of October. I'm going to be doing two spooky streams, okay? And I'm not a spooky person, but I have two Halloween games that I feel like are closer to my vibe. One is Halloween Hero, which is about a dog who goes trick-or-treating. <laughs> And that I've actually never played that one. So I'm excited to play that. And then the next one is called Trick and Treat. And I've played it many, many, many years ago. Um, and it was like an 8-bit scroller, if I remember right. And that one was a little less cozy. But um, I don't remember it being, like, actually scary. So, yeah. Anyway. That was just the best evening. Oh my gosh. Gotta join you for a game before... Oh, yes! Tori, what game do you want to play with? Like, just... Listen, if anybody ever wants to play a game with me, just let me know. Because I love having somebody to chat with. 
during these. Obviously, I love, love, love chatting with you guys in the chat. But I love having somebody, like, to chat with, like, on screen. Um, you love my cozy vibes. Thank you, Tori. I love your piano vibes. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, Tori, if you want to name a game that you want to play with me, then just, like, do it. Because I know we're already playing Deadly Device together in the future, but that's, like, so long from now. So, if you want to choose something upcoming, let me know. So, anyway, do you need a computer set up for it? No, I need a webcam. No, you need a webcam. And, I mean, honestly... Literally right now, I used to have a microphone, but something wonk wonky happened to it. <clears throat> so right now I'm literally just using my laptop, the built-in webcam, and the built-in microphone in my laptop. That's all I'm using. And then, of course, I have my streaming software. But, like, what you really need is, like, capability to have a webcam and a microphone. And we could always test to see if it would work out. Um, but... Yeah, so I love that. Love it so much. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll probably ask a couple of people if they want to join me. Um, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, fun, fun, fun. So, <clears throat> thank you, Tori. Awesome. Yeah, I've, I've asked a couple of people, but I need to ask a couple more people. So, yeah, I just love having fellow streamers, you know? Abby, I can't wait to do ours. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. Yes, Maggie. Oh, Maggie, but you're you're going to join me for an, a, another one, right? Like, a, not a Nancy, but like a different. Cause I think we talked about that in uh, our Regency Love chat. Anyway, so you guys, I'm losing my voice. I gotta go. I gotta split. I gotta save my voice so that I can have it for Saturday because I'm probably going to be talking for like three hours. So thank you guys for joining me. Have such a great night and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Thank you.